वेलकम एवरीबडी एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट फर्दर मोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन जी एस टी बट ऑलवेज वी लिसन अबाउट जी एस टी जी एस टी जी एस टी बट हाउ अवर जी एस टी वेबसाइट लुक्स एंड वॉट वी कैन डू विद दिस जी एस टी वेबसाइट वील स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर विद दिस ओके सो थ्रू आउट द लेक्चर सीरीज आई विल टेक दिस जी एस टी वेबसाइट सम पार्ट ऑफ द अदर so that by the end of the lectures you should be great confident with this gst website on which you will be working if you are working in a gst profile so now if you want to do some registration of gst what will you do but before that we have to first know the website name so gst.gov.in so what is the website name gst dot gov dot in why gov gov stands for government in stands for india so for indian government gov dot in so whenever any website ends with gov dot in it is a government of india website clear now we'll see first thing what anybody will do on gst website that is registration so now let's go to registration tab now click and then the part a form opens so now for registration you need not go to some office of gst right meet the commissioner sab registration kar do na sab nothing like that simply come to this form a fill your name your pan number your aadhar number your email id your phone number your state in which you want to register all that confirm with otps right email otp separate and uh, mobile otp separate click submit and you will get trn number temporary registration number then there is a form b which is a much detailed form you have to fill all that and finally your registration is done absolutely for free so government don't charge a single rupee for your gst registration now if suppose a detailed discussion i'll do when the registration chapter comes i'm just giving a glimpse for you trailer hai ye right picture abhi baki hai mere dost right let's continue with payments now if you want to do the payment right if you register you have to pay tax to government so for payment you have to create challans so you will type your gst registration number and you will create the challan here right very simple now you may also think that sir i am a gst tax payer what is the advantage i'll get so tax payer whatever benefits are there here you see so taxpayers will click and when you click the taxpayers benefits tab you will see that free accounting softwares so you want to maintain accounts there are totally free softwares which are available here itself so you can pick any of the software and do your accounting and it will help you in your gst return filing payment all that also okay so that's what the benefit is you see zoho books is also there very famous actually very inspiring story of zoho books you can search on google youtube also hmm so this is what the whole small glimpse of gst website which i gave time to time whenever new chapter comes i'll try to add some more information so that you become comfortable confident with practical aspects not just the theory but practical aspect will also understand okay now what is the benefits of gst right we'll understand now okay so we'll start understanding benefits hey benefits are for everybody for the whole nation but the first person who is benefited is the businessman the first easy thing which happened is the compliance became easy think about in the old times for excise law go to a separate office for vat law go to a separate office for cst law separate office in 
entertainment law separate entertainment tax separate office now you are moving around different different offices for registration for corruption for return filing for payment lot of headache correct but now everything you can do by sitting at your home or at your business place because compliance has become easy it has totally been it enabled that means through information technology everything can be done online and you are so happy as a businessman ki are yaar i need not go to so many offices simply at a click on the website i can complete my gst registration like i show you shown to you right payment return filing everything we can do on the website itself so all gst related problems one solution gst.gov.in okay now compliance has become easy and the best part is all over the country the rates of tax are same you go to gujarat or you come to telangana you go to madhya pradesh or to assam everywhere the rates of gst are same the procedure for payment return filing registration everything is same so if tomorrow a businessman has to take a decision where to set up a factory he need not think about taxation taxation is same in all the places wherever he can do the business productively more value he can create a particular place there he will set up his factory his business so what happened that compliance has become easy rates are uniform across the country this becomes a advantage to business to take decisions from business perspective without worrying about tax now come to the third point cascading effect of taxation in lecture 2 we discussed much in detail correct so taxation double taxation is avoided after bringing gst similarly the businesses have become more competitive not only at the national level but at the global level our businesses have become competitive you never think that our pencil our pen our sharpeners our paper a4 size bundles are sold across the globe people in new zealand are purchasing indian products that corner of the globe correct so what you are able to understand that gst has decreased the cost to the businessman and when cost is decreased automatically business become more competitive more strong and he is able to do business in a better way okay for manufacturers and for exporters there is no tax on exports if you export the goods outside india then obviously there is no gst on it manufacturer he need not pay multiple taxes like he was to pay excise duty on manufacture sales tax on sales so this double taxation is avoided manufacturer is happy so overall if you see businessman is super happy because of gst whenever a new thing comes into market people criticize it's okay people take time to adjust to it it's okay but that adjustment that learnings which you did now are giving great results to the indian economy we have reached from fragile phi economy you know fragile phi means that means that phi economics which can any time be devastated or are at high risk that economy is which can collapse that was the state of india till 2014 and after bringing gst we are in top 5 economies understand the top uh, the five poorest 
and the five richest this is what the difference is after modi ji or after gst okay so businessman is very happy easy compliance happened then businessman is very happy because uniform rates right he can take decisions from business perspective without ignoring the tax perspective right tax processes right third thing businessman it became competitive for him industry became more competitive cascading effect of taxation rebate and manufacturers and exporters are benefited but is it a benefit to business only of course yes but government also is benefited this gst law is a win win for everybody so let's understand how business sorry how government is happy because of it the first reason why government became happy i tell you first reason why government is happy the reason is government's administrative burden has decreased now think about excise central excise separate officers sales tax separate officers service tax separate uh, service tax and excise had same officers so i'll not confuse you but still right separate law to administer correct then entertainment tax separate officers so lot of manpower was required and there was lot of problems which government faced but now technological strength and uniformity of law made the administration easy for the government similarly in the older laws i'll tell you very interesting thing older laws what happened all the bills were paper bills so there is no digitalization before gst so because of that people were to do lot of cheating and lot of corruption was to happen in the indirect tax before gst so government was to lose lot of taxes right people were to submit nakli bills dummy bills fake bills to claim input tax credit now in gst it is not possible okay so that's why the leakage of taxes which happened in the past cannot happen now right with the robust it infrastructure which government has created government is enjoying the privilege there is no leakage of tax or very less leakage of tax and you will be very happy to hear that tax revenues of gst are increasing every month more than 1 lakh 50000 crores collection more than how much 1 lakh 50000 crores collection every month huge amount of tax which in the past we could have never even imagined i will practically tell you our gdp size whatever it is right 50% gst is contributing now such strong gst is strength with which gst is contributing to the economy so government revenue has increased and modi ji said make in india so all the companies in the world come to india manufacture in india tesla is coming to india you know yes skylink is there no there space x company starlink actually has come and spacex also of uh, elon musk is coming to india iphone second biggest manufacturer is india so make in india is getting a boost because of gst because the amount of tax on a product is less so businessmen feel comfortable to manufacture and there are lot of incentives which government is giving like pli production linked incentives because of that also businessmen across the globe are coming and investing in india so gst gave major boost to economic development so i said four things in government part first administration became easy for government after gst second leakage of tax is controlled now 
third revenue increased fourth make in india boosted right now is just a government or businessman benefited of course not even customers are also enjoying the benefit what is the benefit let's see think about a customer in the old tax law one product multiple taxes so customer is confused is he paying the price of the product or taxes or if he is paying taxes how much taxes he is paying don't know no clarity but after gst complete clarity transparency in payment of taxes how much it is paid suppose example a hotel wants to collect gst from you now you saw the bill gst is included you said it's okay but immediately you understood no i want to check is he really paying it to government so you will go to the gst.gov.in website there you will just uh, check the details and uh, uh, there are lot of users actually gstns you can type and you can check whether this businessman is active or not if he is active then you can obviously pay tax to him if he is not active why will you pay unnecessarily correct so this you should be able to understand i'll show you practically later on hmm? next thing i said to you that government it became easy customers also you know that easy actually registered under gst or gst also has some composition scheme so where that businessman is registered you can directly check at a click on the website right this is what the advantage so complete transparency for the customers and tax rates also is clear to the customers and many a places the prices of the product have reduced because of reduction in tax okay the scope for decreasing the price has increased so prices will be less anyhow this is a theoretical part practically what happened is after gst the prices should have decreased what businessman did anyhow customer is habituated to pay this price let us increase the sales price and book more profits are you able to understand suppose before gst 100 rupees was the price of the product and 28% taxes excise vat all together i am saying so what is the price the customer had to pay 100 plus 28% that means 128 128 rupees the customer had to pay so customer was very happy but now gst is brought so gst simply 18% tax now the customer is thinking okay the businessman is thinking 18% tax and now 100 plus 18% 118 rupees so very simple right 10 rupees saved for the customer but what businessman started doing is 100 plus 10 so he increased the sale price to 110 and then on that 18% this way they collected the entire money and they booked it in their profit so 10 rupees extra profit to businessman this is what happened in the majority of the cases but in some cases businessman want to get more market share there they reduced the price also so for customer transparency is there and reduction in price okay that's it now let's discuss one more topic that is gst council what do you mean by the word gst council very easy small topic okay gst council dekho gst is a law where center state together have to make the law right article 246a discussed or not not withstanding anything contained in article 246 and 254 here the parliament and state legislature together can make the law we discussed or not and 
where they will meet what is a common platform and that platform is gst council the platform is what gst council on 12th september 2016 as per the law gst council can be formed and immediately within 3 days that is on 15th september 2016 the president of india started the gst council right brought into force the gst council now here who are the members first the chairperson is finance minister nirmala sitaraman ji right very simple but very firm and dynamic personality who is handling the finances of our country we can say india has reached from fragile five to top five economies Nirmala Thai has played a major role in it. Okay, so she is the chairperson, Union Finance Minister for GST Council. Second, Union Minister of States in charge of revenue. He is under the Finance Minister. So second person in GST. Third person is nothing but State Finance Minister. 31 states are there including union territories so 31 representatives will be there so this 31 plus 2 33 what is this plus 2 are a finance minister plus union minister of states this 2 plus 31 states 33 people are there in gst council okay but what these people do chai samosa pakoda nahi वो तो होता है डेफिनेटली एवरीवेयर बट व्हाट दे डू आई टेल यू दे डिसाइड दैट व्हाट टैक्सेस शुड बी सब्स्यूम्ड दैट मींस व्हाट टैक्सेस शुड बी कैंसल कैंसल एंड शुड बी ब्रॉट इनटू जीएसटी ओके सेकंड थिंग आई टेल यू दैट दे विल डिसाइड दैट व्हाट आर द गुड्स ऑन व्हिच एग्जेम्पशन शुड बी गिवन like example vegetables are there jawar is there maize is there right jawar bajra rice on this type of products there is no gst so exemption is given yes or no no taxes so what does this mean the council will decide what are that goods which are very essential right for the common public or for the government and government will give exemption from gst so what did you understand that gst council will decide that what taxes should be subsumed in gst second thing what goods or services should be exempt like yoga services are exempt right panchakarma services are exempt right now come to the next thing you should understand that what should be the rates of gst that also this council will decide right they will decide that okay you are a small businessman up to 20 lakhs if you sell in a particular year no need to register under gst okay if you sell up to how much 20 lakhs in a year no need to register under gst this we call it as threshold limit once you do the sale of 20 lakhs 1 rupee also na from there you are liable to register under gst more detailed discussion in registration chapter okay so the threshold limit now gst law what should be the fundamental for gst law what are the principles which actually govern the gst law all that will also be discussed in the council meetings so what are the taxes to be subsumed right clear then exemption on goods and services what should be the principles or laws for deciding or implementing gst right similarly threshold limits tax rates right if there is a natural calamity or tough situations how to get more revenue by collecting additional gst for that also they will make the law right there are special category states like namastu majam bolke i will tell namastu majam kya bol rahe sir namastu n for nagaland 
ए फॉर आसाम एम फॉर मिजोरम ए फॉर अरुणाचल प्रदेश एस फॉर सिक्किम टी फॉर त्रिपुरा यू फॉर उत्तराखंड राइट एम जे एच एम आई सेड तो इफ आई कवर मिजोरम देन मेघालय एंड मणिपुर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हिमाचल प्रदेश राइट एन ए एम ए एस टी यू एम जे एच एम सो दीज आर ऑल स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेट टोटली इलेवन स्टेट आर देर विच आर कॉल्ड स्पेशल कैटेगरी स्टेट वॉट शुड बी द लॉ इन रिलेशन टू दैट दैट इज डिस्कस इन द जी एस टी काउंसिल राइट सो जी एस टी काउंसिल डिस्कस सो मेनी थिंग्स वेदर इट इज फिक्सिंग द टैक्स रेट वेदर इट इज फिक्सिंग द कंपेन्सेशन सेस ऑल्सो राइट वेदर इट इज बेसिकली थिंकिंग अबाउट द थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट फॉर जी एस टी रजिस्ट्रेशन फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल फॉर जी एस टी एक्जेंशन ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस वॉट आर द टैक्सेस शुड बी सब्स्यूम्ड ऑन वॉट डेट वी शुड ब्रिंग जी एस टी ऑन पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स सो सो मेनी थिंग्स जी एस टी काउंसिल विल एक्चुअली थिंक एंड डू नाउ हाउ दे डिसाइड इट के नॉट बी लाइक थर्टी थ्री पीपल सिटिंग एंड डिसाइडिंग लाइक दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ वास्ट कंट्री there should be proper set of rules and regulations the rules are like this they simply said that first to conduct the meeting also minimum 50% of the members should be present like if 33 people are there then how many 17 should be present then only meeting can be conducted okay 33 minimum 50% 16.5 comes correct so at least 17 should be present to conduct a meeting now when the meeting is conducted then they should decide something how many votes should be cast in favor to take a decision right so the answer is at least 3 by 4th that means if 75% votes are given in favor I said members voting नहीं बोला मैं If 75% votes are given in favor of the GST resolution which they want to bring, then definitely the resolution is passed. Okay, the decision is taken. But 75%, 3 by 4 should vote in favor and against less than 25% or up to 25%. Hmm, clear? Okay. now who will vote how much because there are two parties right one is central government one is state government so who will vo vote how much central government will have 1 by 3 of the voting power how much 1 by 3 of the voting power who will have central government will have 1 by 3 of the voting power similarly state government will have 2 by 3 voting power so all the 31 states together will have 2 by 3 voting power now sir how much each state will get then because 2 by 3 you said it's okay how many how much each state will get the answer is quite simple it's all based on population land and all so it is any of government's calculation from our exam perspective doesn't matter so i totally discuss with you what is gst council chal super fast recap will do about gst council what do you mean by gst council it's a place where central and state come together to take decisions on 12th september 2016 gst council was legislated but came into force on 15th september 2016 with the assent of the president finally gst council will be headed by chairman and the chairman is nirmala sitaraman ji and she is the finance minister of our country under her second member is union minister of states he is in charge of revenue after that 231 states with including union territories each finance minister of that state will represent or any other minister can also do right then what are the decisions they will take what are the taxes to be subsumed correct second thing what are the taxes to be subsumed what are the goods on which exemption can be given or services on which exemption can be given under gst 
come on repeat with me third what are the fundamental basic principles for bringing gst very good then what is the threshold limit so over 20 lakhs if you cross the turnover then you should register so this limits will be prescribed for each state separately <coughs> for good services separately right tax rate tax rates in case of natural calamity rules relating to uh, special category states all these gst council will do they will also decide when they will bring gst on petroleum products eagerly waiting right very good next thing gst council minimum 50% member should be present to take the decision 3 by 4th majority voting should be there vote of central government is 1 by 3rd of state government together is 2 by 3rd done with gst council now come to next topic gst network what do you mean by the word gst network this is basically a it sector company information technology देखो ओल्ड इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स वॉज टोटली पेपर बेस्ड एंड दैट्स वाई पीपल वेयर टू क्रिएट डमी डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड डू लॉट ऑफ लीकेज ऑफ टैक्सेस बट न्यू लॉ इज नॉट लाइक दैट इट इज टोटली ड्रिवन बाई इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी द पावर ऑफ आई टी डाटा एनालिटिक्स बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स इवन ए आई इज यूज इन नाउ ओके ऑल दैट हैज टू बी डन एंड दैट्स वाई governments decided that to bring a gst we need a company and that company is gst and goods and services tax network basically this company is registered as a section 8 company that means this company is not for profit they don't want to earn any profit only they want to manage the gst portal okay without any profit intention great once this company is incorporated this company helps or has created the total it software you know that microsoft excel is used in a great detail in our gst website it is inbuilt into it why because excel only has that power to cross check so many things right if suppose i am selling telling that i have sold some things to chaganlal so i'll update in my gst portal that i have sold 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 it will automatically reflect in chaganlal's purchases register in gst so all this happens for that microsoft was hired to give that excel advanced feature support all this who did GSTN Section 8 company, right? Your registration, your return filing, your payment, GST related grievances, GST related appeals, everything is managed through the GST portal. We saw some things, right? All other things we'll see in detail later on. Don't worry. Okay. Now, moreover, the taxpayer's profile will be created. Like, is he paying the taxes regularly? or he is not paying taxes regularly right all that records will also be data reports mis reports all are prepared by the gst n similarly how much returns are there how much collection of gst is there so database should be prepared na summarized reports should be prepared mis means management information system so that reporting part also gstn takes care of right report should be given to state governments report should be given to central governments right report should be given to cbic central board of indirect tax and customs to the finance ministry so all will get the reports as per the requirements from the gstn network okay for that purpose gst is a very robust it enabled tax system okay so you understood what gst network does but you should also understand there are some people like gst suvidha provider very easy topic so let's complete it in minutes 
So what is GST Suvidha Provider? GST Suvidha Provider acts as an intermediary between the GST portal and the taxpayer. Taxpayer is a businessman. He understands business. He understands sales, purchase, profit. And GST is a IT enabled system. So who will help this businessman to file his GST return? To maintain the accounts properly and also file the GST return. For that GST Suvidha providers are there. These are basically IT companies like I have shown Zoho books to you, right? Taxpayer services in that accounting, free accounting softwares. There you saw Zoho books at the start of the lecture, correct? So why I have shown you this? Because this whole lecture you can imagine, feel when you see the website. That's why I started with the website. Now let's continue. So what did you understand? This Zoho books will act as a connecting bridge between the GST website and the taxpayer. GS Doho Books will connect both. Okay. So these are basically information technology company who help the taxpayers that taxpayers can collect all the data and bring it into the Doho Books or any other accounting software like Tally is also there. From there it will be updated to the GST portal easily. If you don't use these softwares, you do normally, you have to do lot of manual work. But lot of manual work will be reduced through automation through softwares and that's our GST Suvidha providers. Okay. But to develop this application, some software programmers are required. Correct? So they are called application service providers or we can also call them as application software programmers. They help the GST Suvidha providers basically by developing the softwares. Okay. So this way we understood about the whole unit one of GST. I hope you enjoyed the whole lecture. And from this lecture, this chapter, around four marks questions may come. And what type of questions may be asked? Like what are the central taxes subsumed in GST? What are the state taxes subsumed in GST? What are the taxes not subsumed in GST? What are the deficiencies of existing indirect tax system? What are the features of GST? What is Article 246A of the Constitution? What is Article 269A of the Constitution? What is GST Council? What is GST Network? These type of direct theoretical questions will come in your examinations. So if you refer these notes, read it two, three times, that's more than enough from unit one perspective. And I am doing one thing, keeping notes as short as possible, considering the examiner's expectations. So that you need not read that bulky content and uh, time is limited, right? So that's why. Hmm? So with this, we conclude the first lecture. We'll meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care. Bye, everybody. Next lecture will be chapter two, composition levy from my side. Okay. So we'll meet there. Thank you.